system which was kind of bothering me um since this morning on me I don't want to talk about it. Um well today well yesterday um my mum and my um dad went out um with my sister to um go to the hospital to uh for her to be one of the patients because she has Down syndrome and um she also has a heart condition called Tetralogy of Fallow. And, well, this is one of the rarer cases. And, um, she, she's quite an interesting person to study. <laughs> so, um, she got picked to be a study to help people with their exams. For doctors to examine her so then they can pass their exam. Um, yeah, but I asked my mum today when we went to Tesco's, you know, I went to Tesco's by the way, um, if during the two operations that my sister had, could she have died? And yes, she could have. She had two heart surgeries, she could have died any time. The first ever one she had, they cut her open. Broke all the ribs, got to the heart, did what they needed to do, but then they stitched her back all up. But they had to go back in because there was internal bleeding all around, all the way around her ribs and everything. So they had to undo her again, and there was the highest possibility of her dying that day. She was in, she she was in the operating fit of twelve hours, and then. So the second time she had she had it one done there was about the same chance of her dying again very high and the thing that worries me the most is when she has to do it a third time when she's my age She's going to be my age. And she has a third operation. And, and yeah, there's going to be another chance of her dying. But then, life every day is a chance of you dying. Just if anything happened to my sister, I, I just don't know what I'd do. I, I just wouldn't be able to live anymore. I just hate it too much. There'd just be something inside me that would make me feel guilty that I didn't spend enough time. Or I didn't do that with her or I didn't teach her that. When I was younger, all the time I used to imagine that uh, like I had a brother or sister. I'd be going down the road and I'd be like, that is a lamppost. That is the sky. And I'd be able to teach them. But with Scarlet is different and she has to learn in a unique way. She's so much different from everyone else, but in such a good way. I wouldn't change her for anything. She... She's unique and she's made me the person I am today. If she wasn't there I would I would I'd be spoiled. I wouldn't know anything. I'd probably be the worst person in the world as well. But to know a person you barely know but was so close to you when you were younger could have gone like that. I don't know. She's only a couple of weeks old when she had 
I don't know. She was only about three, four days old when he had her first operation. I'd only ever seen her twice. I would have been so heartbroken. I would have absolutely been so mad with myself. I'm mad. I've been insane. I don't know how I would have coped. As people that lose, lose their mum, people that lose their dad, people that lose their brother and sister all the time. But when you put yourself in a situation, then you think. What would happen if my mum died? What would happen if my sister died? You understand that would be the toughest time for me ever. You understand that you understand why they cry every day and they regret so much and they wish they would have told them stuff. And that is why when when I have someone that I love and I I keep so close to me, I, I need to tell them everything, every regret, everything I'm sorry for, and just everything, as long as they know that you care for them and they, that you love them and everything, it's going to be good, and you're not going to regret much. So honestly, if you have someone you really love right now, whether it's family or someone else, you need to tell them. It's just a must. You can't go your entire life regretting things, so why should you? Just tell them. Tell them everything. Before it's too late. Anyway guys, depressing vlog, but anyway, TDFN, I hope we've had a good day.